Hello, and welcome to Ziggy Air. Today we are going to review the new FS HUD Update 1.2.16. There are several under the hood improvements and also support for FSLTLAI traffic. Among the under the hood improvements, you will see smoother movement of AI aircraft. In previous versions, due to several limitations and issues in Microsoft Flight Simulator AI aircraft would jump instead of moving smoothly along their flight path or while parked. Due to how the Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK is set up to handle injected aircraft traffic, the aircraft's positions were updated every second, causing the second long jumps. The developer notes that this release present a workaround that enables proper smooth movement of AI aircraft, both on ground and airborne, and that the developer is still working on a plan of perfecting aircraft movement fluidity in upcoming releases. One of the most exciting additions is third-party integration through API. In this release the developer has added his own API, enabling third parties to inject application-controlled AI traffic into the simulator. This opens up for other add-ons to integrate application AI aircraft traffic with their features. A good example of the possibilities is how well FSLTL, who just announced an impressive suite of updates to AI aircraft models, works together with FSHUD, combining the proper ATC communications and flight procedures included in application with the realistic models included in the FSLTL update. Please note that for FSLTL requires injector update 1.1.0. The developer has also improved the call sign selection. Now, the call signs available within the application has been expanded to include pretty much all airlines. Furthermore, with this release, we have simplified the process of selecting a call sign. You'll easily find the one you're looking for within the drop down menu. Let's start with the integration with FSLTL. First, you will need to start the Flight by Wire installer. Once in the installer, select the third tab from the top. In this FSLTL tab, you have two selections. If you have not installed the product before, you will need to run the installation for the FSLTL base models. After this is complete, you will need to install the FSLTL traffic injector. Once you have both installed, you can run the injector after starting Flight Simulator and FSHUD. The injector will run in the background. Once the injector starts, you will see a command window that opens in the background. The command window will run through the session. Once Flight Simulator and FSUD are running, you will see aircrafts being injected into the simulation. Let's take a look at what you will see in the simulator and in the FSHUD window. On the FSHUD window, you will see the type of aircraft, where the aircraft is currently located, if it's parked or airborne. The originating and the destination airports will also be displayed. This information is fed through the API from FSLTL into FSHUD. As we moved into the gates, we can then see the aircrafts being rendered. Let's see if we can identify some of the aircraft on the terminal and match them in the FSHUD window. We see some Southwest Airlines 738s, some United Airlines also. There is AA320 and some A319s. Of course, we need some cheap airlines also. Here we have Spirit. The injector has also included some small private aircrafts.
Okay, let's get back and start our takeoff. Our flight plan today will take us from Tampa, Florida to Boston, Massachusetts. Along the way, we will see how the injector shows airborne aircrafts and how FS HUD incorporates these into the ATC process. While we climb to our cruising altitude, let me review some of the concerns I have heard regarding FSLTL and frame rate. There has been some discussion in different chat services that there is a price to pay with FSLTL in terms of frame rate. There has been also some discussion around FSUD and frame rate in the past, but that was proven incorrect, and myself I have never experienced a hit on frame rates with FSUD. I supposed if you have a marginal processor and or graphics card, yes, you can experience a frame rate hit. But if you have a good system, this will have very minimal impact on your flying experience. The same goes for FSLTL. I have yet to find an issue with frame rate. If you have a different experience, let me know in the comments below. India Golf Golf Yankee. Radar contact. Continue climb. 11,000. QNH 1020. Continue climb. 11,000. Zulu India Golf Golf Yankee. While airborne, we can check in the FS HUD window on the injected aircrafts. Here we can see several that are airborne, their departure airport and their destination. We may be able to see them in the sky if they are close enough to our location. The call sign menu has been another great improvement in FS HUD. The system now allows you to change your call sign at any time by selecting a new call sign from the call sign edit window. Here I am changing my current calling to Air Canada 1123. In subsequent communications, ATC will use this call sign when contacting your aircraft.
In my opinion, these improvements have greatly enhanced the ATC experience. Let me know in the comments below if you are using FSUD with FSLTL and what your experience has been so far. Again, thanks for watching Ziggy Air and don't forget to like and subscribe.